What's up everybody? Welcome to Woodness Goodness and welcome back to the Mobile Bar Build. I know those of you who follow this incredible YouTube channel very closely, you will know that we have not done anything with this mobile bar for quite some time. And that's basically because I've been stuck at the point of painting and I need the temperature to be good, I need it not to be too windy, and I have my friends over at Total Boat who sent me some products and I wanted to wait to use those because those helped this project out immensely. Anyhow, if you don't know why I started or why I am building this mobile bar, it's basically because I got the great idea, I found some really cool mobile bars on Instagram and I wanted to do it. I wanted to challenge and I figured I could do it. It's been a whole lot of work. I picked up this bumper pull horse trailer 1970s horse trailer and it was a rusty pile of metal. It was terrible. I had to remove metal, add metal, I had to weld, I had to learn how to weld on it. I put over 300 rivets in it and basically in this episode we finally completely prime it with an epoxy primer from Total Boat and now it's got one coat of black on it. We're, we're almost done. That's what it feels like anyhow. But who knows? Anyhow, smash that like button, baby! And if you like this video, I might go get voice lessons. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so. Let's get into it, baby. Behind me, the trailer. It's beautiful out. I've got some stuff that came in the mail, which means we can keep working on getting this thing done and out of my hair and on to the next project. Total Boat was kind enough to send me a bunch of sweet products uh, because they want to help me build this mobile bar. And so that means, well, now that I have these products in hand, we can go ahead and start completing the outside and prep for paint. Thixo is a thickened epoxy adhesive, just like they say, from Total Boat. And basically all these gaps, you know, in behind, you know, the, where the wheel wells meet up with the edges of the metal. And basically anywhere that water could creep down into a crevice and eventually rust. If that's gonna happen, well, we're gonna put Thixo there so that doesn't happen. special tip. I guess it mixes it all together. See that? It's divided into looks like epoxy here and then the hardener. Might have that backwards but either way it's split up. So when it comes out it goes through this mixing nozzle. Bob's your uncle. So we have gone and sanded the whole thing down. You can see my hands are great. Anyhow, we've sanded the whole thing down, interior, exterior, and prepped it for a 2K or two-part epoxy primer system from Total Boat. The guys at Total Boat totally hooked me up. They gave me that Thixo epoxy adhesive caulking where you saw me fill out all those cracks, and I'm going to use their two-part epoxy primer, which is so sweet. I really should have started with an epoxy primer from the get-go. I wouldn't have had to prime it like I did with this. Um, epoxy primer, you don't need self-etching. You can basically put it on anything as long as the surface is prepared for a new paint or a new, you know, a new thing. <laughs> so we've gone ahead and we've prepped the surface but now it's super dusty and so we got to clean it off 
The guys over at Super Clean love this project and they wanted to help out. So they gave me some of their Super Clean uh, de degreaser and cleaner. And so we're gonna use that over the whole thing to prep it for the Total Boat epoxy primer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and hopefully I can get it done because the sun is out and it's hot enough to uh, spray. So uh, let's get after it. Enough is enough. I've been prepping the surface of uh, the mobile bar for paint and all that stuff. And it, I mean, it, it seems like I've been doing this for a long time. So I think, I think we just go for it. I think enough's enough. If I prep it anymore, I, I just don't know. I'm gonna probably give up if I keep having to prep it. So Total Boat gave me like I said, a bunch of awesome stuff that has helped me get to this point. And I'm going to use their Total Boat Epoxy Primer Thinner 200 to prep the surface before I apply the two-part epoxy primer. And then I can also use this to thin the primer so it comes out of the gun a little bit smoother, which I'll probably do. We're starting on the inside, even though the inside doesn't matter as much because I'm going to still finish it off. Um, it'll be a good spot to practice because I can prime these bare metal part, parts that I put on as well as this metal that's never seen any primer and it'll just help the metal in the long run I think. So we're going to go ahead prep the surfaces for the epoxy primer and then we're going to start shooting because why not? Because why not? Let's do it. Oh boy. Always read directions. I've prepped all the metal in the interior for sure. Gave it a vacuum. Activator by volume, allow an induction period of approximately 30 minutes. Oh man, so I gotta wait 30 minutes. All right, one to one ratio. Gray base. Gosh. Oh no. All right. Ah. Oh. I just disconnected the air hose with my feet without realizing it. Oh boy. We're off to a great start.
Wow, I did it. It's perfect. See that? We improved. So we're gonna thoroughly mix this bad boy. Then we gotta wait 30 minutes for it to, and it's called an induction process. I'm assuming it just kinda fully gets the chemical reaction. I mean, it's science, guys. It's, it's not rocket science, but it is science. And after 30 minutes, if we feel like it's gonna be a little too thick for the gun, we can always thin it. We're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes, make sure everything else is prepped, and then we're gonna spray. I gotta wait for it to build pressure once in a while. So we got the inside primed with that epoxy primer. It's really, really awesome. It uh, dries rock hard. It's thick, but not too thick. When I sprayed it, I did dilute it a little bit with the Total Boat reducer or thinner. And that helps thin that epoxy primer so it can go through the gun uh, super easily. Anyhow, it's super windy out. So I can't spray the outside, even though the outside's all clean. The wheels are in, they're mounted on the rims I bought, so we're gonna go ahead and mount them and see how they fit. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> These are sick. Yes! This is way harder than it looks. Let's go. Ah, oh, no. oh, whatever. Oh, baby, those look fresh. Got these baby moons. How they go on? I think they just clicked. <laughs> Feel like I'm like 90s hip hop. Yeah, yeah, baby moon, what? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good! 
got those. Don't want those going into a tire. Super handy. Right, guys that does it for this episode with the mobile bar now that the outside is basically 99.9% .9 done which is where we like to leave most projects almost done but not quite I think we can start working on the inside I basically wanted the exterior completely painted so any wood and things that I add are not gonna get wrecked with black paint still have to do a coat of white paint on the inside and the, the, the stuff that we're gonna start doing to the mobile bar are exciting. I have a live edge slab I cut myself last year and we're gonna use it for the bar top. We're putting up oak boards. We're gonna make it look really, really cool inside. So I think we're almost final lap, baby. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the trailer so far in the comments below. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks again. Be sure to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah, mwah, peace.